Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. In this episode, we are going to tackle a topic that many aspiring engineers dread, managing your time effectively during the Fundamentals of Engineering or the FE Exam. This is a crucial skill to ensure that you complete all of the questions within the allocated time and pave your way to exam success. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. The FE exam is a comprehensive exam, often seen as a rite of passage for engineering students and professionals on the path to PE licensure. It consists of two parts, the morning session or the general exam, and the afternoon session or the specific discipline exam. To make sure that you finish within the time limits, here are 10 tips that you can use on exam day. Number one, familiarize yourself with the exam format. The first step in managing your time effectively is understanding the format. Knowing that you have two distinct sessions can help you plan your time accordingly. Number two, practice time management. During your preparation, simulate exam conditions by taking practice exams. Set a timer for each section to practice managing your time effectively. This hands-on experience will give you a sense of how long you can spend on each question, preparing you for the real deal. Number three, skip difficult questions. When you come across a challenging question on the exam, it's vital not to get stuck and waste time. Flag it and move on to easier questions. Your goal should be to answer as many questions as possible. You can always come back to the difficult ones that you flagged later on if you have time. Number four, use reference materials wisely. The FE exam allows you to use certain reference material. Familiarize yourself with these materials well before the exam so you can quickly find the information that you need when solving the problems. Efficient use of reference materials can save you a lot of valuable time. Number five, flag questions. If you're unsure of an answer to a question, flag it for review. In the last minutes of your exam, you can quickly revisit those flag questions and then make educated guesses. Number six, prioritize sections. Consider starting with sections that you're most comfortable with. This can really boost your confidence and save time for more challenging sections later on. A strong start can set a positive tone for the rest of the exam. Number seven, stay calm. Your ability to manage time is closely related to your state of mind. Stay calm and focused. Don't panic if you encounter a challenging question. Move on and come back to it later. Panic can lead to time mismanagement. Keep breathing. Number eight, take short breaks. The FE exam allows you to take short breaks during the exam. Use these breaks wisely to rest, refocus, and manage your time effectively. A quick breather can do wonders for your concentration. Number nine, review and verify. If time allows, review your answers. Ensure you haven't made any careless mistakes. This final review can potentially save you valuable points and boost your confidence. And I know this because I just barely passed my exam. Number 10, time tracking. Keep an eye on the clock or timer during the exam. Be aware of how much time you have left for each and every section. A quick check can help you to adjust your pace as needed. There you have it, 10 simple actions that you can take to manage your time effectively during the FE exam. Remember, time management is a skill that can be honed through practice, discipline, and good habits. 
And by following these strategies and staying calm under pressure, you'll be better prepared to tackle this important milestone in your engineering career journey. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam, we'll publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.